We could pop it back in the car if you want. Yeah, Baby, you've had so many chairs like that. <laughs> you have, haven't you? Yeah, I got a new one for me. You do. Um, Sixty-two pounds a bit. I was selling it for a tenner. I've got another one in the car, but I've put it down to seven. Don't lose your pee. Can I tempt you with a shirt for holiday, Stephen? No. No. <laughs> Don't mind the shower, but I'll put that one. Yeah, there's everything in there. Yeah. Yeah. There's everything in there. I'm just not doing it anymore. No. Oh, we just finished this one, didn't we? Yeah. Have we done this one? No. Are you sure? No. So Steve's just lost 20 quid, right? And we've um, been looking for it. This car boot is out. Everyone's packing up now, but it's absolutely rammed. And we've just found it. It was a good couple of miles away from us. <laughs> right. It was just laid on the ground. Yeah. So Literally, at like we'd carried on moving like round the like rows and I can't believe we've picked it up and nobody else did. Like, that's crazy. Tyler's gone to get his little bag that he's seen that he wanted. What did you get with your money? I got the Pokemon cards. They're quite cool. Mm. They're Japanese I got a, cards, Can I show you my reverse hollow? Yeah, show me. Look. You can kind of see the Pokeballs. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Wait. See yeah, it? that's cool. Yeah. They were only a pound. Japanese Pokemon cards. We just need to find the car now. But Steve and Tyler have gone to um, find this bag that Tyler liked the look of. So, right. Let's help me find the car. I ain't got a clue. 
Here he is with his bag. Oh, bless him. That's the bag he wanted. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Packed okay, ages. What, trying to find it? Because they are packed away. Oh, so how did so you So we were looking for ages and I recognised the woman's face and she had to get it out of her boot. Oh, bless her. Do you like it? Yeah. It well, looks really we nice, mate. For ages. Yeah. Are you happy with your bits and bobs? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, it's a bit busy. I don't know if I'm sticking out a bit too much. After this one, there's nothing coming your side. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's been a nice morning. So, and I can't, honestly, I cannot get over the fact that we found that 20 pound note. I know. Right. I was gutted. I know, bless you. Yeah, crazy that someone didn't pick it up. Hi, happy Sunday. Hope you're all right. You've had a nice day. Don't mind me. I cannot be off makeup today. All right. I have slightly greasy hair. It's on the turn. It's not too bad, but it's on the turn. And I, I feel very, um, it's time of the month, full swing. All right. Let me tell you. So yeah, I'm just like chilling out now. It's quite late on in the day, actually. It is around five past five. I am about to hoover my bedroom though and get it all ready like you know what i mean just to chill in tonight and stuff so give it a good hoover change the bed in and relax that's what i'm gonna do just on the kids dinner and steve's i'm not having any tonight all right i feel like so bloated honestly i just oh I, yeah i feel really just yeah that's how i feel you know so all oh, bloody hell hang on my phone's up to all kinds of stuff Right, I've been down the car boot, as you would have seen, um, a fair few hours ago now, so that was this morning, and um, I'm going to show you all the bits that I've got now, so yeah, if you do want to stick around, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe to my channel, if you're not already, and yeah, I'll show you all my bits from the car boot. I didn't even realise Steve would pick this up, so it's a shiny mug, which is like an old horror classic, if you're into horror and stuff, and you haven't seen the shining, it's really good. So yeah, we're gonna start our um like I know it's not Halloween yet, but we're gonna start like we watch horror films anyway. I think we're gonna watch is it is something called Mother Mother tonight? I don't know. Or what was the other one we were gonna watch? It's like a really old, like really old horror film. I think the other one was Nightmare on Elm Street, the new one. I didn't even know they did a new one. So yeah, um we're gonna start like watching more though, like in the build up to Halloween. So yeah, he got that mug. I don't know how much it was. And I got three books for a pound. So I got this one by Fern Cotton, which is happy. I've got a calm book, so not bad for three for a quid, is it? So, and then this one is called Wonder, which Tyler's read. And he said there's a film that we've seen, but I don't remember watching it. He said we watched it a while back. I can't remember watching it. But um, yeah, he said it was a good book. So I'm going to read it and then he wants to read it. And then this one, so... You know, I thought I'd take advantage. Like, they were 50p each or three for a quid. So I thought, yeah, fuck it. We'll try and, you know, get our three for a pound. So this one says, am I normal yet? It says, an involving look at feminism, friendship, and the secrets we hide. So, you know, I thought it sounded interesting. You know, might be an interesting read. So and then I got some Sizzlers. So I've not had these before. So um, they were a pound each. And... They smell really nice, actually. So this is the first one I got. And the second one I got is this one. So, um, yeah, the brand is with... No, it's not with Love from Clee Forbes. They're from Clee Forbes, but um, this is Fabulous Fragrance. So, yeah, pound each. That's not bad, is it? So I'm excited to try them because I've never you know, use Sizzlers, so I'm excited. They smell really nice, and I love like clean cotton as well. It's one of my favorite scents, so I got them. And then I got this, right? It's from the Selfridge, okay. It's tiny, I know, it's a size 12. I, I might have messed up with this one, but it was 50p and I like a black crop top. I bet she thought, what a knob. <laughs> I bet she thought, oh my God. You ain't getting that. Well, 
Well, it's stretchy, you see. Like, it's got quite a bit of stretch. Sometimes I do get it wrong, all right? I'm only human, okay? I have to give this one to my sister. I've sorted her a bag of clothes out, so I'm working my way through my wardrobe. So I thought, right. So I'll give her that, all right? I was hot and sweaty, okay? Blame the heat. <laughs> then I got these right. These will bloody fit, so all right, I'll have none of that. LA gear, all right? 50p. Size 16. Look, cycling shorts, I think. Well, any kind of shorts, but say LA gear on it, you know. Very stretchy. And I thought, I'm having them. 50p. They were in like a pile. So they're like different sizes and just had 50p each. And then I got these shorts. All right, they are a size 16. These are going in me one day, okay? I, I don't think anytime soon I'll be in that top. But these, all right. They're a nice pair of shorts. They're from the old Marks and Sparks, all right? And they're like a um, cord. Is that corduroy? Corduroy? Well, anyway, I've got a long way to go, all right? But when I see a bargain, okay? And then Steve got this um, threadbare. So in an XXL, threadbare T-shirt. Really nice. Like, the quality is really nice. Just a plain black, plain black T-shirt. But I think it's quite nice. So he liked it, so he picked it up. And then he got some shorts as well. So, you know, two quid each they were. And then, all right, I've got this Zara jacket. So it's Zara Basics. And it's like a really pretty, you know, like silky feel coat. Actually, like we're saying it needs a button. And it was 50p. They don't need a button. Not that I can see, there's like two buttons either side. So anyway, it's quite nice. This is the bag Tyler got, bless him. All right, he really likes it. So at first, he wasn't too sure. He was a bit like, mm, I don't know. But he's been after a bag like this for ages, you know, like that goes over the front, you know, and he, yeah, he was a bit like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And then at the end he was like, I want it. I want the bag, I've decided I really want it. So yeah, now he likes it. But at first he was a bit unsure, but 150 that was. So, you know, it's quite a bargain really, really good condition. And then um, the last thing, all right, Steve wanted this. So he got a massive picture of Rottweilers. And he's signed as well by the artist. Originally a fiver, down to 450. So yeah, that's the, that's the picture. It's quite a big one. So, um, yeah. Oh, it is nice. It is. It's cute. Steve, right, if he sees somebody with a Rottweiler, he'll go, <laughs> it's cute. I find it cute. He'll go up to him and start saying, oh, you know, just asking questions about his Rottweiler, you know, and then he'll be like, yeah, I've got a Rottweiler. And, you know, he'll be like, oh, it's 10 months old, 11 months old, that kind of thing. And, you know, they end up chatting away. Or if he sees, um, you know, like this, <laughs> so... <laughs> Somebody's selling something Rottweiler related. He has to say, oh, have you got a Rottweiler? And it's honestly, it's so cute. I find it adorable. Like he just can't help himself, but start asking if they own Rottweilers or, you know, they just get like rotty talking and it is sweet. He loves it, honestly. And um, yeah, he really liked that picture. So here we are, it's going in the lounge, pride of place. But um, yeah, that's the end of the video. So hope you enjoyed it. I, I'm just gonna go chill now. I need to make a cup of coffee. I'm not gonna go chill now at all. I've got my room to do. That's a cop out. This is what I do. I go on like saying, right, I'll have a coffee and I'll do it after. And then the Uber will still be at the top of the stairs for the next three days. So no, I'm gonna hoover my room and sort it out. So um, yeah, I need to pack some shit away and whatnot, change my bed in. But um, yeah, I hope you're all right anyway. Okay, new week tomorrow, all right? Just remember how fucking amazing you are. Don't let any dickheads get you down, all right? Know your worth, all right? We're gonna smash this week, okay? Like, everything you want to do, okay? And however the hell you wanna express yourself, go and do it, all right? Do not give a shit, fear of judgment, don't care. Don't fuck off, all right? We don't care what other people think, okay, at all, all right? Like, they're just, they're so irrelevant, it's unreal, seriously. Those opinions are so irrelevant, like, <laughs> Who cares? Most of the time as well, people haven't even got an opinion. All right, we, we draw up this 
like this idea in our head that people are constantly talking about us or I mean there might be but fuck on but just overall like we have this warrior that people are judging us for everything and actually half the time they don't give a shit all right they're just getting on with their everyday life not giving a shit you know so try not to worry about what other people think okay because you are fucking unreal all right you you just deserve to be happy like everyone else you know don't care what people think dear all right i love you and i'll see you in tomorrow's video oh by the way there's no way in this week as well because i'm bloated to fuck and i just i can't deal with the disappointment from period blow all right so i shall be back but not tomorrow i will be back tomorrow with a video but not a weigh-in so yeah i love you and i'll see you in tomorrow's video